Y'all know what day it is? I think I lost count, but I believe it's Friday. Finally Friday. Almost the weekend. Whew, I'm ready for it too. Definitely. Oh yeah, I got the t-shirt. Whole box of them. I'm gonna try to make it an extended weekend. I'm gonna try to take Monday off. I would too. If I had your money, I'd probably take Tuesday off. Well, see, that's why I'm working Tuesday. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> oh, I didn't say I was even taking Monday off. Well, we needed a little, we checked around. Most of our shops are gonna be closed, so we're gonna, we gonna follow suit. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, you they, ready for this weekend, the big Saturday meetup? We are. We are ready to go, so. Cool. Ready to see what everybody's got going on. What? What new and cool stuff you got this week? Well, they gotta be a sale on wrenches. There's you always have a that sale. Many sets. We just wanted to make sure we had wrenches for sure. But yeah, some of them went on sale, and we we bought quite a few of them. Um, we bought the bigger sets just for somebody starting out that wanted to have them all the way up, and then. These here actually don't have the switch. You just flip the wrench over. We do have some people that would rather have the style with the switch, so we do have several sets of those too. I like the switch as well, just in case you get stuck in a tight spot. Yeah. Uh, you ain't gotta worry about trying to screw it back in by the hand or whatever to get your wrench back off. So I like the switches too. Um, we've been, um, of course, selling our die grinders this week. We're just about out of the blue ones. We don't have that many left, considering how many we started with. Holy cow, blue tool sale. <laughs> then Never would have thought. We've been showing the uh, impact grade hex. We've been having a lot of our heavy equipment shops needing those, so we've been showing those a lot. Just selling anything and everything we can at a deal. Making that money. Well, Andy's here ready to rock and roll. Tell everybody what we're gonna do in a minute. We're gonna play some golf. And it could get quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, we got a heck of a crew going, that's for sure. What you got back here on the table for sale? We have got the impact uh, wrench sets that we showed, or sledgehammer sets that we showed last mm -hmm. week. We got the locking extensions that we, that we swear by. Yeah. Um, the best air hammer that I've actually had. Um, we got the kit in those. Um, I haven't used every air ha hammer on the market, so I'm not gonna say it's the strongest out there, but it's the strongest one I've ever used. So I've used quite a few, but I don't want, I mean, they say it's the strongest on the market, but as soon as I say the that- The strongest song, 401 shank. I'll probably, there you go. I'll probably agree with that, yeah? Yeah, well, you, you gotta compare apples to apples. Yeah. Um, be kind of like putting a uh, that half inch impact up against a 398. The Astro, whew, that thing hits like Mike Tyson, buddy. You better <laughs> hang on to it. I haven't used one. I'll have to. I'll That's have to get bad one. Use one, boy. But we also been selling jacks. That one's already sold. That's our last one. We started with with four. That's our last one. So somebody claimed it when they heard that we had it. So cool. I really like I really like the B style jacks. They uh, they work well. Yeah. Got any color flashlights you want? What's that? I try to keep a good flashlight. We've talked about that on uh, mm -hmm. what I think tech should start out with. That was one of the things that I said they should, or I think I forgot to say it or something. But I think you brought it up that everybody needs a good flashlight, and that's for sure. What kind of rig is that? That Wireless there is. Charging? Yeah, wireless charging, stackable. Um, it's got a UV light and a flashing red light uh, on one. It's got a clear light and a light on top of it. Uh, so that was actually the clear light there. And then on the back side, you'll have the UV. That's cool. You can stack up to four and it'll charge four. So the other one right over there is actually gonna do something different. It's the other light, it's a pair of them. That's the other light in the set. It'll actually have a red flashing light and that's pretty cool. So there's a light on top. Flashlight. There's that light. 
and then there's the, the red light. Cool. Uh, got a lot of our uh, record companies like that one there, which they come in a pair, so they get both, but it That's seems like cool. the more lights they can have, the better. You would think that a tow truck would have enough flashing lights on it that they wouldn't need another one, but Man, people ignore. In this world. Yeah, they don't they don't do the whole move over thing, so Oh, that's just a yellow light, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Right? I'm I'm telling you. Uh, if you ain't never worked on the side of a four lane on a vehicle, you are missing out on an adrenaline rush. I've been in I've been in it way too much to uh to not know and I just I don't understand not slowing down and getting over. Like I know sometimes you can't get over because there's a prick in the other lane that just won't let you get well, over. You know, my my vehicles have this thing, it's it's the the big wide pedal yeah, on the yeah. left side. Mm -hmm. Or well I guess in the center if you're not driving a manual. It's called a brake. When you mash it, it's amazing. The whole world slows down. That's and right. Then you can get in a car, you know, get in a lane beside uh, that's you. That's right, slow down. I don't know. Maybe I got the only one that's got a set of brakes. No, no. I'm, I'm. That's, that's my thing too. We've been showing everybody that. the, the Max battery too here. Um, it's a battery tester. It does uh, the health, the start and test, the charging system test, and a test report. Uh, I sell a bunch of these to my quick lubes and stuff like that, just because it's quick, easy. They can print a report out. Uh, it's not the big bulky one that has a little printer paper that everybody hates because the printer paper is going to mess up at least twice uh, in a day. We may have even talked about this before, but so pretty, pretty simple system here. You hook it up, it works off Bluetooth. So if you've got so your- So that's all it is. That's all it is. It looks just like a pair of cables with a- That's it, and you put it on there. there. Uh, it, it, there's an app that you can download on your phone and Bam, you've got the report, hit print on it. It prints to the wireless printer that you've got set up. And if you're not selling batteries, you can with this thing. That is nuts. Well, you know, and your data- <laughs> You know, if you look at that, you're like, what is that? Like automatically short circuit the battery? Right. Yeah, it comes with all of our Max 4 scanners. Um, but this thing here makes checking the battery so much quicker and easier that I've been selling it to the quick loops and just telling them to download the app. And I mean, cool. so you don't have to use the scan. <clears throat> you don't have, to, no, you don't, it, no, right? you, it works off of Bluetooth so you can do it to your phone. There's an app that you download and you use it off the, the app. Cause all it's doing is sending the app, the report. Um, and that's the key thing is you don't have to tote around uh, at dealerships, they have to use, the, I think it's mid electronics or something that they've teamed up with uh, as far as uh, warranty work. They have to have that print out of that receipt. I don't know that they would accept this one, but your click loops and stuff where they're just doing it as a courtesy service, them things are super high and they're easy to break quick, especially if you drop them. These cables, I mean, you don't want to throw them around by any means, but they're a lot less expensive than that machine that they have to use. And, and a lot less bulky. If you used it with the scan tool, does it give it more uh, data points or? No, it's, it's going to give you the same information right off the bat. Um, the good thing about that is, is you don't have to strictly have the scanner, so. That's cool. Yeah, we I've sold a bunch of them. Uh, they really like them. I had the app on my phone for a while, but uh. I sold my first one because a guy got a call from his daughter that his that her car wouldn't start, and he asked me. He said, "Do you got something I can check the uh, the battery with?" That's why I go a little bit further than that. And uh, he called me and said it worked great. He was able to check it, um, and even do the start system test. I mean, just right there with it. So I've got two left. I ordered a bunch of them, and we're down to two. So well, that's neat. This, that, and another, right? That's it. We still we still have our wrench holders here. Uh, we sold out of the blue. We have one little four piece what? blue. That's like a common thing, ain't it? It is. I, I sold, sold out, out of blue. blue. Quick. I'm out, about out of blue tools. Hey, I'm all right with it. I'll sell. You got any blue ratchets for this weekend? I do have a. F I Ooh. have very few. It looks like I got three. Uh oh. Um. What you mean? They just have an auction on them three. <laughs> 
I sit, sit on the table in a higher spitter, right? That's it. Um, yeah, back order situation is getting better a little bit, and then it'll get worse, and then it'll get better. I don't know. Just do what we can, right? There you go. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go in here and get everything wrapped up and go have a good time, kick off our weekend, and get ready for tomorrow. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down there. If you're not subscribed, click that button. See ya.